Hello and welcome to 2015. I can recall 15 years ago today in this very same room at the age of 19 looking out this very window at the snow falling another New Year's Day and that was New Year's Day the year 2000. That date, the year 2000, was such a big year when I was growing up and I remember seeing a movie called Back to the Future Part 2 where Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd go in their time traveling DeLorean to 2015 and people are driving in flying cars and they're using trash to fuel them and they actually have computer interfaces all over the house and everything looks very art deco and everything is very renewable and you can see that the future seemed to basically do okay. People had failures, but, you know, it was a really successful looking future, basically, aside from the trials and tribulations of humanity. Well, I'm looking out my window now on January 1st, 2015, and it isn't quite like that. On that day, 15 years ago, I was listening to a song that I had just received as a Christmas gift on a CD called The Year 2000 by the OJs. And the great singer, Eddie Levert, asked the question, Will there still be war in the year 2000? And I hope and pray, he said, that it will cease to be. After asking, what will this old world be like and how old will you be in the year 2000? Well... Here I am, and I'm thinking very futurist thoughts, even if I don't see it around me. I haven't really talked about current events for six months. It's been very hard, because there's been conflict between uh, Soviet Russia, ex-KGB, now Russian leader Vladimir Putin, with the Ukraine and Crimea, there's been some violent altercations with that. Um, there was the tragic shooting of Michael Brown in Ferguson. And there has been the celebrity scandalizing of none other than Mr. Bill Cosby himself. But there was also another song that came out this year by a man named Pharrell Williams, Call Happy. It took the world by storm. You actually had people all over the world, on YouTube, you can go see it right now, dancing to this song. Even people in Russia, people in the Ukraine, people in Budapest, everywhere in the world, to a song that asked the question with perfect clarity. Clap your hands if you know what happiness means to you. Clap your hands if you feel that happiness is the truth. It's asking a question, and what a great question. What does happiness mean to you from last year and this new year? I don't make New Year's resolutions anymore because it sets you up sometimes for maybe not doing quite so well as you want it to do. But I do make New Year's plans. I do make ideas in my head up that will extend into the new year and into the future beyond that. And this year's plan was a very profound one. And I don't always do profound very well, but I'm hoping that this will work out. And it all starts from this idea. I think that a lot of people, especially around me in this town, in the state, and perhaps in this country as an entirety, have forgotten how to understand how differences unite us rather than pull us apart. We all tend to want, at least, to think that because we all presumably have the same sort of blood running through our veins and because we wake up in the morning and go to sleep at night, that we're all going to have similar opinions about things. Well, opinions when it comes to human beings are very much like snowflakes. I can't think of one that's exactly like the other. And that's what makes the world so wonderful, that everybody has different opinions. Now, as the late, great author and poetress Maya Angelou, who passed away in 2014, said so well in her poem, 
human family. In minor ways we differ. In most ways we're the same. And it's in those minor ways that we need to think about in 2015, that I need to think about. We are so concerned about bringing those major similarities we have, those universals of humanity, together, that sometimes we think of ourselves as being colorless and one big American family. America is not one person or two people. America's a quilt. The world's a quilt. It's a beautiful quilt. All the colors come together in harmony, but you need to have those colors the way they are. They can't all be made to look more the same. You can try, you can attempt to force it, but it's not going to happen. And my New Year's message for myself and for all of you out there is to remember the late Maya Angelou's words. In minor ways we differ. In most other ways the same. Think about those minor ways in which we differ and how you can enjoy those minor differences rather than try to make people colorless or more the same. Happy 2015 and happy 2015 everybody. Be loving, be different, be yourselves. Thank you. Peace.